Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Global Link RV Entry Door Lock with Key to Like option here on our 2018 Forest River Grey Wolf Travel Trailer. On our Grey Wolf today, it has a front entry door which leads into the kitchen slash main living area of our camper, and then it has a rear door which goes into the bathroom so that you have easier access to the bathroom without having to walk through the inside of the camper and get sand, mud, dirt, whatever you have at the campsite all throughout the camper. Now the problem with that was that when the manufacturers made this, they made it two different key codes for the locks. So it's a little bit cumbersome to have multiple keys and if you run the risk of leaving that extra key at home, then you have to go in through this door, go all the way to the back to unlock that door. So it becomes a bit of a hassle. Our new entry door locks are gonna fit a cutout hole in your RV door that is two and a half to three inches wide by three and a half to four inches tall. That's a pretty standard size for most RV trailers, but you are wanting to pull that back plate off and just double check that measurement on your camper. If you do not have that size, um, what you can do is widen up your hole if needed to fit a different entry door lock if there isn't anything available in the size that you currently have, because there are a lot of manufacturers that make these door locks and then they end up going out of business or they just stop that one specific entry door lock and then kind of leaves you out to dry when you need to replace yours. Our entry door locks are made of a solid steel construction with a black powder coat finish on this specific one. There is also a white and a polished chrome just so that you can match the aesthetics of your trailer. And with these locks, they do come with a key to like option. If you're looking over by the quantity, if you select the amount of locks that you want to replace and then select that key to like instead of the key to unique feature that's going to get two locks or more all keyed to the same code so that you don't have to keep multiple keys. Your entry door lock is going to come with two sets of keys with it and if you buy multiple those are also all going to come with two so that way you have a bunch of extra copies. If you needed to get more you just need to look at that stamped in code right there to order more from the site but locking your camper door is as easy as closing it up getting it in, turning your deadbolt, and then you can also turn your entry door lock handle to lock it in place to keep intruders out. When you're ready to go, you can open it back up and open up your entry door. Installation of these entry door locks is easy peasy. You could easily get this out and put in with your new entry door lock in probably about five minutes. All you really need is a screwdriver and maybe an extra set of hands just to kind of hold it in place while you're trying to get those screws in. But overall, like I said, easy peasy. Begin our installation, we're first gonna to have to remove our backing plate. To do that, we'll take out our four screws here. And then we can slip our plate off and you can gain access to your cutout hole. That cutout hole is a very important part here because we're gonna to need to measure that to make sure that we have the correct size to replace our old and broken door handle. There's a common misconception that most of the trailers are a specific door handle just based on that trailer, but in all honesty, manufacturers just kind of throw in whatever they have at the time, and that's kind of what you're stuck with. So you have to make sure that you properly measure. If we look at our width here, we're about two and three quarters, and our height is right at like three and five eighths, which is fine. A uh, typical standard hole is gonna be about three and a half height wise and two and three quarters width wise. So we do have a pretty much standard size here. So we know that our new Global Link entry door lock is gonna match this. To finish pulling out our old one, we're gonna have to remove our screws on our strike plate. Pull our strike plate out, and then we can pop our entry door lock out of the hole. If you look at the inside, you're gonna see the key code number and it's also gonna be stamped into the keys itself. So if you look right on there, it's gonna say 350 as well as on here. And if you open up the backing plate, just like with our old one, you can see the old number on there. With our new one, it also has that key code there. That way, if you ever have to get replacement keys, so you lose it or you damage it to where it's just not gonna work on that lock anymore, you can go on our website and get the supporting key. So if you look on the inside, it's also gonna have a nice gasket going around here and that's going to help keep any moisture or water out getting from behind that uh, entry door latch and then into the wall of your entry door but we're going to go ahead we'll just slide in our lock and just kind of press it up into place push it in and then we're going to 
want to pull it as far over to the edge of our door as possible so that way we have our screws lined up so we can put on our strike plate and screw it into place. So with one hand I am holding onto the door latch itself. It does kind of want to fight against me here. This is a little bit of a tricky thing to do just trying to get it on there just because it doesn't always want to line up perfect. But we can come back with our screw gun and we'll just tighten that up a little bit until we get our other screw in and then fully tighten them. As you can see, it popped our door handle right into place, keeping it nice and tight. Now, if you look at the little lever for your deadbolt, it does have a flat side on it. We're gonna need to match that up with the flat side on our pin right there. And then also while we're doing this, we wanna make sure that we have our lever for our door handle closed because if it's open while we're installing it, this little latch right here is gonna sit behind the slide. And we want it to be up in the front here so it'll actually pull the whole mechanism. So if you need to, you can put that on and then kind of move that little lock around and then close it and put it back on. Sometimes during packaging, it can get kind of mixed around a little bit, but got it in place. And now we can start inserting our screws to pull our back plate to our entry door lock. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick in my screws. I like to kind of get it just a little bit. I don't fully tighten it down just because I don't wanna mess up any of my other screws from lining up. Makes it a little bit easier if there's just a little bit of wiggle room. And then we can start tightening it down once all of them are in. And we're all good to go. Your entry door lock is going to come with a new strike plate for the trailer side as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swap out our old one. This will not come with hardware for it just because they don't know exactly what you're going to be screwing into. But you can just reuse the hardware that you already have. line that up. There is a little bit of a lip right on here. We want that to be facing the outside of our trailer because that's what our latch is going to press up against. So I'm going to try and get this in the same spot because a lot of the time these doors don't fully close um, without kind of beating in that door strike a little bit until it gets to like a real good spot uh, and that's just wear and tear over the years. Uh, they can kind of throw off exactly how your door sits in the frame. So you may have to play around with this a little bit. You may need to kind of hammer it in just a little bit just to get it so that it's fully closing without catching too hard on there to where it doesn't want to close. So if I close that, you see how it's not really catching into there? That's because I need to move my door strike just a little bit. Like I said, this can happen. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these screws up just a little bit. I'm gonna slide it further out. So this is just the door not catching that strike fully. So if I push it out a little bit further, it'll have a little bit more space to kind of grip into it. So now we can go ahead and try it out. Now when I close my door, don't have any issues. It's not wiggling. I'm not getting a bunch of play out of the door handle like I was earlier because it's actually seating into that door strike. Now we've got our front entry door lock replaced. I'm going to go ahead and replace this back one. Well, I think that about does it for today's installation of the Global Link RV entry door lock with key to like option here on our 2018 Forest River Gray Wolf travel trailer. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.